Local musicians are getting a chance to shine on an unlikely stage, reaching audiences they've been missing during the pandemic. WRTV's Cameron Riddle shows us how music in transit is making a difference for local musicians. This year has been especially hard on local musicians who typically rely on gigs in restaurants and clubs to make ends meet. But for the past nine months, the pandemic has kept that from happening. Everybody is taking a financial hit this year, whether it's a music venue, music artists, even people on the audio video side of things. Before the pandemic, local filmmaker Jake Huber and live venue owner Mike Angel launched the web TV series called Music in Transit, a way to highlight the Circle City's musicians as they perform live shows on Indigo buses and bus stops. It's really that simple. We put bands on a bus and uh, when when it allows for it, an audience too. Season one was all about surprising new audiences. You stop in your own tracks and you're like, oh, what, what is this I'm experiencing right now? And after a while, like we, I mean, every single act we had formed a crowd. They kept in touch with us um, when the series would be released. And through that, um, Many acts have reached out to us saying thank you, you know, because, you know, I've gained a new audience. I've had people buy our records or merch just from these videos. Season two of Music in Transit will look a bit different. The mobile shows are socially distant this time around with a limited crowd. Huber and Angel are hoping season two will allow the world to still see Indianapolis musicians of multiple genres who, thanks to pandemic restrictions, could use all the exposure they can get. Hip hop, alt country, indie rock, uh, <laughs> other funk, everything, really. If we promote this properly, we could get a a pretty broad reach for them and hopefully drive up their album sales a little bit. Cameron Riddle, WRTV. Season two of Music and Transit will premiere this month on YouTube. That's also where you can catch up on the first season.